Welcome to this quick demonstration of the Wonderland Engine Editor workflow. You can see the editor on the top left and the browser on the bottom right. If we press the green arrow at the top, the editor will launch a new tab in our browser window and load the packaged project. We can see that if we make a change in the editor, like positioning the switch model, and then press the hammer icon to repackage the project, the browser window will be automatically reloaded to reflect the changes in the running game. If we make a change to properties, for example, increasing the speed for the W, A, S, and D controls in the runtime, we can again repackage the game and it will automatically reload the browser. We notice that the rat behaves uh, unintentionally. Uh, if we slow it down a bit by decreasing the speed on the enemy component and then repackage, we can see that indeed the mouse is running backwards. While we can fix this by simply inverting the speed, that is not the clean fix as the speed is expected to be positive and therefore we suspect we need to make a change in the code. We find the enemy JavaScript component, in this case in the JavaScript folder, and double-click it to open whatever we configured our system to open JavaScript files with. In this case, it's my NeoVim. So I can quickly go and find the location and the code that I want to change. In this case, we remove the negation of the speed. And when we save the JavaScript file, again, the editor will detect this and reload the browser for us. And we see that the rat now moves forward. We can also make other changes, for example, setting the direction to always be forward and disabling the logic for deciding which direction to go. And we will see that now the rat moves straight ahead only. Going back to the editor, we see that the enemy has different properties, and these properties are automatically generated from the JavaScript code. If we add a new property, like an object, and set the type of this property to WL type object, we see that a new dropdown appears where we can select a new object within seconds of saving the JavaScript file. Demonstrating this with another property, uh, float, the float appears almost immediately after saving. And finally, the same with a enum property, which allows us to select from a list of different values that we provide in a dropdown. We can make the default any one of those values. In this case, we will choose value. And we see that here, the dropdown now allows us to select our values. Thank you for watching this quick demonstration of the Wonderland Editor workflow. Please make sure to check out the engine. It is in early development, but do please go ahead and sign up for a 30-day trial on wonderlandengine.com.